it's tragic, it's all of that in one as we watch this building most likely go to the ground. Now, if you are within a one mile radius of Chemtool, mandatory evacuation, you need to get out of the area. Do not drive by this area. Roscoe Middle School is the evacuation area for the one mile radius around Chemtool. That is where you need to go. And right now, you, you can see it probably here, there are many little explosions happening. The front of the building now engulfs in flames. The east side of the building where you can't exactly see from here, it is starting to go down. It is starting to crumble with those black clouds of smoke that are coming from the east side of the building. Fire crews are starting to move in, but no firefighters are going into the building. That has been the call that fire crews are gonna work externally. No one is going in. The plan right now from what I've been told from firefighters that I spoke to is to let it burn and contain it so this is not a risk to potential neighbors hazardous risk. We just got in that summer school at Hananiga is being evacuated and Roscoe Middle School is where they will be headed to the evacuation site in addition to that one mile radius. So Hananiga Summer School, they are being evacuated and the building as we look is here also breaking right now. The east side of the building is starting to crumble. Another explosion just popped off the east side of that building right here where that smoke is has begun to crumble the east side of Chem Tool building. Janesville Fire Department right there at the Cherry Picker. They are starting to pull back. Fire crews are pulling their engines back to get it away from there. Janesville Fire pulling it off right now. Just trying to zoom in so you can really see what is happening here, what we are seeing live on the scene. And we are in a safe place, so we are good to be where we are. This is where we have been designated to be as safe by officials. But you can see that the building is just starting to crumble going from west to east. It is slowly but surely crumbling under the fire right there. Let me show you right there. That was just now standing just a few moments ago, and I think it is about to crumble on camera as we watch this happen. What you're watching right now, this is the west side of the Kim Tool building where a massive structure fire has broken out. And what you're seeing is that the fire is slowly starting to eat away and the building yes. is begin to crumble in front of our eyes. Yes. What was once standing as a full yes. wall, it is now being burnt. Let me zoom you in there. There are large bangs going off. This is a chemical facility, so this is a very dangerous yes. situation. A yes. one mile okay. evacuation yeah, yeah, mandatory right around this right, facility. Right. What we do know is that Hananiga Summer School has been evacuated. Roscoe Middle School is that evacuation site. So if you are in with this one mile radius, head to Roscoe Middle School, head out of this area. On my way here, I saw dozens and dozens of cars stopping and taking photos within this one mile. That is not allowed at this point in time. You need to get out of this area. The building that we just saw, just zoomed in, that entire west portion that we just saw, it is now down from where I can see completely crumbled under the flames. We're going to zoom out the picture so you can begin to see what is going on here with the building and what we are seeing. What once was a standing floor walls, the west side has now begun to collapse in on itself due to the fire. Beyond what you're seeing on your camera right now, we have the latest information and this is what we know so far. The cause of the fire has yet to be determined. Officials have not told us exactly what led up to this blaze and now that the Kim Tool building is nearly entirely engulfed in flames, we will get an update as soon as they are able to give it to us. 
Um, the Hananiga Summer School has been evacuated. Roscoe Middle School is the evacuation site, and there is a mandatory evacuation with one mile around this facility right here on the border, south of Lake Rockton. So if you are within a one mile radius, your home, work, etc., you are being evacuated. So do not come to this area. When I arrived on the scene at about seven, spoke to a couple of employees. They said they were evacuated from the facility. That at that, that time, they did not know if there were any injuries, and we have not been able to confirm with officials if any injuries have been reported. Now, if I zoom you in right here, now the east side of the building engulfed in flames. I can see a loading dock is in flames right there. Let me zoom you in. A loading dock right there in flames towards the entrance of Kentool. At this point in time, from what I am seeing, it appears the entire facility now engulfed in flames as the east side right here above the signage in flames. An astonishing and, and tragic day here is that shot really encompasses what this day is. Unfortunately, a company here in Rockton will be most likely burned to the ground.